for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like to comment. The best way to support the channel for free is to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to it. It's being reported that Nene Leake's son, Bryson, was arrested in regards to possession of a substance. Let's say it that way. Some pages are probably saying it. I don't know if I can or can't say it, but he was arrested for having a substance. Allegedly, he gave his younger brother Brent's name to the police. Because, of course, he didn't want to be arrested. They look very similar, but if you look at them, you could tell that there's definitely a difference. So the biggest thing is, one of the biggest Real Housewives of Atlanta stars, her son got arrested in regards to having um, a substance. He got arrested. So it was basically being reported that he was arrested, and then he was released, but then he was rearrested. And it might have been he was rearrested for all the other stuff he has going on. Several pages are talking about it. Several pages are talking to his ex-baby mama, whether that's true or false, whether she is or isn't, don't know. But I don't think Nene has come out and made a statement. Of course, we understand that they have gone through a lot in regards to Nene having a lawsuit in regards to who she's dating. The ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife, is suing Nene because who she's dating. But then it was basically being reported that Nene broke up with him. But whether that's true or false, we don't know. Then we have the situation in regards to um, Brent was unfortunately not well for a little while. Luckily, he was able to recover. He allegedly had a stroke. And that was about six, eight months ago. He was able to recover from the stroke. He lost a lot of weight. And allegedly, the bar that Nene had, Lanithia, allegedly had closed down. Because, of course, she was trying to take care of her son. And it's difficult to run a business if your child isn't well. So I think they were trying to sell off the business. Um, and then in regards to the son, Bryson, getting arrested. So many people are talking about it. Many people are like, dang, Nene is sad. And mind you, Nene is one of the most famous, one of the most famous housewives of Atlanta. It's sad that she's going through issues in regards to Bravo. If you don't know, allegedly Nene tried to sue Bravo. Now, whether she's still trying to sue them or whatever's going on with that don't know it takes money to sue somebody but if she's being sued she needs lawyers to take care of that so nini allegedly sued bravo called many people different names said people were on substances from the show allegedly and bravo doesn't want her back nini trends more sometimes than the actual women on the show nini was recently asked if she would come back on the show and she was like i would do it for the fans but there's no way after you insult your company you're working for bravo andy the host they're not going to let you come back no matter what is going on and why are we talking about that the people aren't really feeling the cast on real housewives of atlanta the marlo story the candy having issues with her restaurant in regards to people don't know if they're going to get biscuits or something else um and then Candy really doesn't want to talk about her stuff. Candy would rather promote stuff than really tell what she's got going on. And Bravo allows it. But then Bravo also shades Candy on different stuff. Candy talks about having threesomes, which is weird. You have kids. Why are you talking about that? Everybody says uh, Candy over sexualized things. Um, many people feel that they want Nene back, but then some say no. Some say they want Portia back many people say no that's not going to happen because she had altercations and you know Bravo should have never been applauding her for taking somebody man hello that's weird but see Bravo isn't there for healthy relationships we talk about healthy safe relationships Bravo is all about catching that bag Bravo likes for somebody to have 
unhealthy relationships. Bravo likes for a person to have a possible pro police problems. Bravo likes for people to go through a divorce. Look at that. They re-sent the cameras out to get more information about Drew and her husband. But what was this? Let me know in the comments how you feel about Nene, her son, her son going to jail. And, you know, it's, it's a sad situation. But he's made choices in life and he has to deal with it. And, you know, I, I'm told in the reports that he's a dad of like four or five kids so that's a lot but what was just Danini? she's been going through a lot over the last two years you know greg passed away so that was about what two years ago r.i.p to greg and nini's just been going through a lot that's what the reality shows do though your life is under a microscope so anything you got going on people are going to magnify it and everybody was talking about it yesterday so well wishes to nini it's like i said it's being reported that her son is still in jail and how much time will he get? We don't know. But to use your brother Brent, Brent's name to try and take them away from it really being you, that's sad. I wonder how Brent feels about the brother trying to utilize his name. So, you know, and you know why. Bryson didn't want them to see his record. So they gave Brent's name. Brent's probably don't have a lot of issues in regards to police stuff. So that's probably why he wanted to use the brother name and then if you're getting caught with substance you don't want to be said that it's you but of course they're gonna find out they're gonna fingerprint you and figure it out they're gonna that he has allegedly he has a bunch of um uh mug shots allegedly but what was just to nini girl who this a lot having concerns with her son being sued in regards to who you're dating um allegedly now who nini is dating Alleged he may now be divorced, but you got to be careful who you date, y'all. You got to make sure they're divorced, they're separated. You got to look them up. Do they got a police record? Do they have a police file? You know, how do they treat their baby mama? How do they treat their mom and dad? You really got to look people up nowadays. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.